Futile moral condemnation. A small state condemns the actions of a far more powerful state. A small state condemns something that it has no hope of stopping. A small state condemns something that it has no influence over. Some claim that such condemnation is futile and pointless. This moral condemnation is futile, but it is not pointless. Evil must be condemned for the sake of reinforcing our moral ideals. Immorality must be denounced for the sake of reasserting our moral principles. We must reinforce our moral ideals. We must reassert our moral principles. Every evil is an opportunity to reinforce and reassert. If we fail to reinforce our moral ideals, they will be weakened. If we fail to reassert our moral principles, they will be undermined and corroded. We condemn the Holocaust not because our moral condemnation will prevent it, but because doing so strengthens a moral will against all evil. Moral condemnation is not simply about stopping the evil one condemns. It is about strengthening morality so that additional evils will not materialise. It is about strengthening morality to prevent more evil. Condemning certain conduct allows us to reassert and reinforce our moral ideals. We condemn past genocides and hideous crimes. They have already happened, our condemnation cannot stop them. We condemn them to reassert and reinforce our moral ideals, to strengthen our moral ideals. This is an enormously valuable thing. Reinforcing righteous moralism is a good in of itself. Evil should be condemned. A man without a drop of power should still condemn an evil. Moral condemnation strengthens a society's sense of morality and prevents further evils from being committed. It is also the case that very rarely is moral condemnation truly futile. A dozen individually inconsequential actors can become a highly consequential actor. The moral condemnation of one small country means little. The moral condemnation of 50 small countries means a lot. The moral condemnation of one insignificant man means little. The moral condemnation of one million insignificant men means a lot. When an inconsequential actor takes a moral stand, a more influential moral actor may be inspired or encouraged to take a stand. Moralism normalises moralism. We are precedent-based creatures. We like to act like the others. Take the lead and others will follow. A drop of moral condemnation becomes a wave of moral condemnation. One million drops of water breach a dam. Moral condemnation is a valuable thing. Often those who dismiss a moral condemnation as futile simply disagree with it, but lack the intellectual honesty or backbone to say so. We should be aware of that.